Cold start inbound. Rip headphone users. What's going on, guys? So I'm sure you can tell by the title. We're going to be talking about something you have to do after you do something with your suspension. So obviously, anytime you do any leveling kit, upper control arms, anything like that, you're changing the geometry. It's 99.9% .9 of the chance not going to be in proper alignment, which is going to cause for camber, caster, toe in, toe out, and you're going to burn your tires up way faster than you would. You just don't want your truck out of alignment because it will destroy your tires and it'll do it pretty quick if you're bad out of alignment. I guess I've already spilled the beans on this whole purpose of this video, but uh, yeah, so as you can see, the truck, you know, we did the upper control arms. Truck's still looking pretty good. This step is not necessary for everyone, but I am putting the stocks back on the truck for a couple different reasons. The truck cannot do a full, all the way turn of the steering wheel without it rubbing. So to prevent the dealership from A, tearing up my tires, or B, tearing up my truck, I'm gonna put the stock ones back on. There's curbs at dealerships and stuff. They just hop in them and they drive them. They could accidentally curb it where it wouldn't hurt a stock tire tear my wheel up, then have to go through the process of them either buying a new one, fixing it, or them saying it's not their fault and you having to deal with that. That could turn into a huge headache, depending on what their alignment machine is like. Some of them hook on the wheel lip, some of them hook on the tire, some of them go inside, I believe. All these different things can lead to my wheels getting scratched up. I don't mind putting in an hour or two to swap wheels and tires out in order to prevent anything from potentially happening. I'd much rather just swap them out not have to worry about it. I should have some video of the Hellcat tomorrow, which is always good, it's always fun. Hopefully I'll enjoy that, but yeah. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to get to swapping around the wheels and tires on the old Chevy. Good morning, guys. So we're on the way to the dealership. This is gonna be the first time I've really driven the truck very far with the upper control arm, so I'll get to see how good, if they make any difference at all, honestly, because um, I don't, really have any huge expectations. I do know that they won't be hitting the bump stops, so obviously there won't be any jarring if it were to try to do that on a big bump or something. So far, it's riding really great. It, like I said, it might just be just, I got the wheels and tires, stock wheels and tires back on it, but so far, doing great. Following the old kitty cat. It's getting an oil change and a something, maybe some kind of recall. Right, guys, we're about to go for the pass, 5.3 versus Hellcat. Getting their revenge on me. Real. SRT8. That's a 6.1, though. He better watch out. He better. He, that boy better watch out, boy. Shoot. And there's the other glorious feature of stock wheels and tires 21.7. currently at a restaurant killing time because my truck's been there for two hours and they've had a truck on the alignment rack that they're struggling with and they don't know how long it's gonna be no we'll see all right guys so we're gonna do a little ranting it's very very frustrating to deal with stuff like this because for one it is Friday and I have work so I'm having to take off work to get this done and so I got an appointment at 9 30. they don't really do appointments but they said that they would put me in the schedule at 9 30. that's fine and stuff well it is currently 11 50 and i just got my truck and i'm leaving untouched undone nothing they said that another truck was giving them big issues on the alignment rack and stuff and then they were talking about how much my tires are cambered in that it might be 150 dollars versus the standard 89 dollars I don't know what that's all about and now i've got to go somewhere else get an appointment then take off another day half day get that done i 
dude it's just super super annoying i'm sure y'all dealt with stuff like this i'm not trying to throw this place under the bus but it's a little it's some stuff is not right like that the truck stuff i'm pissed off about it but i can understand if they've got a truck that's giving them big issues they got one alignment rack or something whatever however dad brought his hellcat up here and last time when i got the oil change in this truck he was going to get the oil change in his car but he didn't have the miles up he was he's only got like three thousand something miles on it but he had like three or five free oil changes with the purchase of the, the car well when we came up here last time they were telling him not to change his oil to go off the little thing that says you know whatever don't go off the time wait for it to say hey you need to change your oil or whatever which rarely anyone goes off of the little computer thing you always want to change it before that but and it was supposed to be a free one so they were like really you know trying to talk him into just doing it later when he got the mi more miles on it because he's saying you know the whole the new new age oil and stuff doesn't break down and stuff when time whatever that might be true might be false whatever so he's going to get the oil changed today when he got the recall fix well he gets in there today and they tell him well it's been uh the time limit on your oil changes has expired so now they're not free anymore had that many free oil changes with the purchase of a seventy thousand dollar car you'd think that would not expire with time so he got mad as well and was like well whatever don't don't change the oil if you're going to charge me for it i'll do it myself we'll do it whatever um take it somewhere else it's just shady stuff like that dude that just i don't know kind of killed the whole vibe of this video i know the whole video is just to tell you that you need to get an alignment if you do anything with your suspension and stuff y'all got the point of that but kind of a debbie downer on the end of this video yeah so enough ranting that's my experience it's been terrible i gotta go to work and hopefully i can find somewhere that can actually get me a line so i can put my other tires back on here and uh yeah so y'all let me know if you've had something like this happen or whatever comment something i'll see y'all the next one <laughs>